Hello, people. This is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today, I'm going to speak uh, regarding free-to-play players uh, and by myself, how I got um, almost 27 uh, million power. Like, if my hospital will be empty, I will have more than 27 million power. And, yeah, people have been asking me, like, how I got this much power without farming accounts, without spending even a $1 in this game. Uh, so, like, playing it organically, how I got this 26 million, 27 million power. First of all, I will start speaking about every single aspect of this game uh, and how you can get as much power as possible and as soon as possible with the resources of one account, right? I'm not playing on any other accounts. This is my one and only account, which have been logged in. Uh, with the almost 300 consecutive uh, logins uh, per this account, right? So, first of all, I will speak about, uh, firstly, about building power, which buildings are going to give you the most amount of power as, like, as a free-to-play player or even as a uh, pay-to-win player. The big difference between free-to-play and pay-to-win players um, are, like, you can't uh, use your gems to finish your building, you can't use your gems uh, or bot uh, resources with the money, so you are progressing with the organic gameplay. First of all, as always, regarding, like, buildings, uh, you have many choices, right? Like, you have lumber, you have mint, you have, like, resources buildings, you have hospitals, you have army buildings, and, of course, some, like, storehouse, alliance market, um, uh, like, alliance center, and so on. So, which kind of buildings you need to prioritize uh, in order to gain as much power as possible? First, firstly, like, you, your main idea and main goal should be to uh, upgrade the Sacred Hall up to 24 levels. Uh, like, you can always go to 25 level, but, like, for myself, I understood that 24 level is enough for me. Uh, like, I will upgrade to 25 later in the game, but in general... If your only uh, like aim is to gain as much power as possible from 24 uh, to 25 level, there is a almost 1 million power, right? But you need to understand that you are paying too much resources, like 72 million gold, 72 million lumber, 38 million ore, and 5.1 million uh mana uh, also you are a, you need to have like master's blueprint which is cost 2000 gems and for a free to play player to spend gems on a, a buildings uh, i think it's not the time for me uh, i prefer to spend my gems on a new heroes to not fall back uh, during the season right so like 24 level sacred hall should be your main priority you need to just uh, move like uh, build the buildings whichever sacred hall is telling you uh, one of them is like i think foundry i think you need to have alliance center like every level every next level you have a new quest which is helping you to get the sacred hall to the level 24 other than Sacred Hall, who is like, which is like giving them, giving you the most amount of uh, progress and the most amount of uh, power in the game, there is like a couple of buildings which are gonna give you a lot of power in general. First of all, I need to mention that uh, hospitals are giving you a huge amount of power, uh, and you need to understand that you have four hospitals, which means like you can upgrade these uh, hospitals every each of them up to twenty four level. And you can basically see by yourself how much power you are getting from a uh, 24-level hospital, like almost 500,000, right? Uh, you have four hospitals, like 2 million power you are getting only from hospitals, which is like an amazing amount of power. I think like in general, uh, hospitals are giving you the most amount of power through the buildings. Uh, so, yeah, after the Sacred Hall is level 24, you, like, freely go to the uh, hospitals, uh, gain the power, uh, or other, other than power, you are getting more and more um, uh, hospital space, like elixirs, daily elixir production, and in general, I think hospitals are, are like, one of the most important uh, buildings in the game. Uh, other than hospitals, of course, um, army 
buildings will give you um, not not petros and hospital power but quite a good amount of power for example for 20 like if i whenever i upgraded my army uh, structures from 23 level to 24 for the each uh, upgrade i got like 1500 uh, power uh, 100,500 power, uh, excuse me, so like you have five uh, army buildings, uh, uh, like let's say 100,000 per one building, you are getting 500,000 uh, power, right, from the army, and of course you are getting the army from the now, these structures, which are going to give you unlimited amount of power, like as much army you're going to recruit, more power you will receive. Uh, another way of getting uh, power through buildings is the mana refinery uh, buildings. Uh, like other resource buildings are not giving you much power, honestly. Like if I want to upgrade my lumber mill, mill from 24 level to 25, I will get only like 39,000 uh, power, which is nothing, right? And I need need to uh, use my 2000 gems as a master blueprint so it doesn't really worth it uh, like i upgraded these uh, resources into up to 20 levels just for fun whenever i had not an amazing amount of resources in the game but i i could still upgrade some buildings that's why I just upgraded them one by one. Other than that, Mana Refinery is giving a great amount of uh, power. For example, if I want to upgrade my Mana Refinery from 23 to 24 levels, I will get uh, like this amount of power, which is amazing, right? Like you have four Mana Refineries. Uh, if your aim is to uh, gain as much power as possible, focus on Mana Refineries, focus on hospital levels uh, focus on sacred hold to be like 24 level and of course like army uh, buildings are giving you great amount of power too uh, the alliance center is not giving you like amazing amount of power but it will help you to uh, upgrade anything in the town like uh, research like st building structures like it will help you uh, it will make your alliance member to help you to speed up your uh, your everything honestly besides uh, recruiting your army okay so like um, main priorities sacred hall uh, hospitals uh, army structures and mana refinery uh, this is like the most amount of power you can get from the only building structures if you will focus on building right but there is like other ways of, for you to gain as much power as possible uh, even if you are a free to play player you need to understand that you need to work around your resources uh, sometimes you need to stall it uh, sometimes you don't need to upgrade everything uh, simply because you aren't gonna have even enough resources to upgrade Upgrade the important structures. So, like important structure is sacred hall. Important structures are legion recruitment, and the important structures are hospitals. Uh, another way uh, to get uh, power in this game is through research, right? And of course, uh, you have many uh, and uh, too much uh, choices here to which uh, re which research uh, to start, right? Because every single rich research, whenever you are moving forward, costs a lot, and you need a lot of time to finish them, right? So, in my opinion. You don't want to spend too much time on an economy touch, right? Uh, you need to have like architecture too in order to build your uh, buildings faster and gain uh, more power faster. You need to have supply chains in order to gather uh, more resources and the resources are uh, for us to gain power, to build more structures, to recruit more army, to upgrade more research, right? And of course, uh, scholarship two, uh, research speed up to 15%. Uh, after the scholarship two, I stopped researching the economy tree because uh, like it's really far for me to go to tier five units. And for tier five, I will need all of these to be upgraded. Uh, I stopped to the scholarship two simply because uh, after that, it's really important to maximize the milica military touch. Uh, and the military touch is pretty straightforward. Uh, your main uh, goal should be to 
uh, upgrade your uh, legions, right? And your main goal should be to upgrade every single legion type to the tier 4. Uh, it's not really that hard, uh, honestly. Like, uh, simply by just playing the game, you will unlock every single tier 4 unit. And even, like, unlocking this tier 4 unit, you will get amazing amount of power. As I remember, well, 100,500 uh, power you are getting for per tier 4 unit. After you unlock the all tier 4 units, uh, then becomes a struggle because uh, you are stuck uh, on the assault strategies to like 5, you have first aid 1 and defensive formation to 5, uh, after you upgraded the assault strategies uh, 2 to 5, you need assault strategies 1 to 10 level in order for you to continue upgrading stuff. And honestly, um, also strategy 1 to upgrade to the max level, to the last step, needs like 100 days to upgrade. So you can imagine uh, like 100 days you are not getting uh, uh, enough power from the research tab. So uh, like my advice would be uh, you have like two slots, so you, have, you can upgrade the two researches at the same time. Uh, and my advice would be upgrade one research uh, which has a lot of time to upgrade, like 100 days, 55 days, 35 days with the one tab. And use the second research queue to upgrade stuff which needs way less power, right? Uh, simply because I had myself a, a situation whenever I put uh, in the research queue two upgrades which took a lot of time and I missed some events, um, the events which are telling us to gain power through the research because it was impossible for me to finish the researches which needed like 55 day, 100 day and so on. So like in, in order to progress pretty fine and to have a not an amazing but great amount of power in the game, uh, try to focus on tier 4 units. After tier 4 units are done, uh, try to upgrade the assault strategies to 10 because without 10 you can't progress here. Uh, honestly, like even without uh, assault strategies 10, you can upgrade the strategies 2 to 5 and you can move to the Z section. Uh, every single upgrade with the like Legion upgrades will give you amazing amount of uh, power. For example, if I want to upgrade Marksman's pro Marksman Protection 2 to 8 level, Level, I'm gonna give you 200. I'm gonna take like uh, get a 200,000 power, but as you can see, 25 days. This is like struggle. Uh, don't forget to use your mana stones, don't forget to like prioritize which kind of upgrades you are looking for and prioritize the power if the most important aspect of your gameplay is to just gain as much power as possible. So like this is all I wanted to speak about the research tab. Like I'm sure you understand that whenever you are progressing, game itself will tell you which kind of upgrades you need to progress. But remember, defensive formations one, uh, assault strategies one, and first aid one. After seven level, like you can see how much time, uh, like I, I, you can't see, like fifty-five days, right? Like I upgraded first aid to level nine, uh, and it took me fifty-five day, days. If I will remove the like help function uh, with the alliance help, uh, like approximately, it took like. Uh, 49 days to finish the one research, right? Then, like, you are waiting for two months to get uh, 300,000 power, right? It might sound great, but don't forget, you waited for this for two months, and the players are progressing really, really fast in this game uh, because they are spending money. Uh, they have, like, 10, 15, 25 farming accounts, so it's really, really easy for them. Uh, but my guide is for people who have only one account, uh, who are not spending any money in this game, and they want to enjoy the gameplay by itself. So we spoke regarding structure power gains, uh, we spoke regarding uh, like uh, research power gains, and another way to gain uh, power in this game, like uh, building, right? Uh, uh, tech power and legion power. Uh, so. Uh, whenever you build like your um, army structures to 24 level and you gain the power from the building, of course you are getting uh, uh, power by recruiting your army, right? 
that's why it's priority for you to upgrade uh, the structures to 24 level to gain uh, as much army as possible. Uh, by getting the army, you are making your legion stronger. Uh, by getting your army, you are getting power on a daily basis. So that's why whenever I mentioned army structures, I said unlimited amount of power because uh, simply by just playing the game, um, by recruiting the legions, you are getting power day by day. Also, there is a lot of events who are tell which are telling you to use your training speed up to gain rewards. Uh, you are getting rewards you are getting the army you are getting the power right so like in general this is a war game uh, doesn't really matter how much power you will have if you don't have enough legions enough uh, units in your legion so another and one of the most important ways of getting the the power is through legions because simply in my opinion uh, these are like unlimited amount of uh, like power they did not they don't cost a lot to recruit them, right? Uh, like, only downside is that, like, do they need 21 one hours uh, to be recruited? But you need to understand uh, that uh, it's a, a power every single day, right? You don't want to miss... Uh, the moment whenever your army is ready to be recruited, then you need to queue the next uh, legion to uh, farm the power, right? So, like, in my opinion, uh, legions recruiting is like kind of farming the power. Uh, by just playing the game, you are gaining more and more power. Uh, so, we, need to, we had to speak about legion power, and we spoke. Uh, another way of getting the power is through heroes, right? Uh, it's really, really hard for a free-to-play player to unlock, uh, to awaken or unlock the levels of the heroes. But as you can see, without spending any money in this game, I have like four-star uh, legendary heroes. Uh, not a lot of them, but quite a lot still. Of course, I don't have uh, like high levels on the heroes, but uh, you need to prioritize your main hero, right? My main hero is Kinara. That's why I have 5552. Five, five, uh, I'm hoping to awaken him here as soon as possible, but it's a big struggle for me. Uh, you are generally getting power from anything from the hero tab. Even if you are not using the heroes, uh, which you have, uh, you can simply use the like talent points in order to get power. Like one talent point will give you 500 power. So like you can maximize the power gain, right? You can equip the artifacts to the heroes which you are not using which gonna give you the power uh, for example like I'm not using atheists at all and if I want if I want to uh, equip an artifact on the atheist uh, I will grant some power right as you can see 15,000 power from just equipping the uh, Artifact. So, like, there is a ton of amount of power through the heroes. Like, uh, every upgrade of your skill will give you the power. Uh, every upgrade of the star of the hero will give you, will give you power. Uh, talents um, will give you power. Like, every single point is worth 500 power. Uh, upgrading skills, awakening hero uh, is going to give you power. I, I don't remember how much power you are getting by awakening hero, but I think it's somewhere like 5,000. Uh, to maximum to 10,000 so like there is a like lot of ways for you to uh, gain power even if you are a free to play player in this game right um, another way uh, to get the power is simply to upgrade levels of your artifacts uh, if I have the artifact dust I will show you for example like one level uh, you are every every single level you are upgrading your artifacts. You are getting more and more power. Uh, also, uh, by upgrading the stars of the artifact, you will get power. Uh, so simply, you have a lot of choices uh, in the hero section. I think the artifacts power are connected to the hero power. So you can always go to your account. You can uh, power. You can check your power info. I have like twenty seven million power, and you can see from where you are getting the most amount of power right uh, I started speaking about buildings uh, and buildings are um, giving us most amount of power almost 10 million uh, even without uh, 25 level sacred hole uh, after that is a touch power then legion power which I think will suppress suppress anything because it's unlimited amount of power if you are not getting zeroed every single month 
And yeah, hero power, it's not a big amount, but uh, 2.3 million power, simply because I'm a free-to-play player and I'm not able to unlock every single hero and I'm not able to awaken them, that's why it's pretty low. So, um, this is the guide that you guys wanted me to make, um, how I got to 27 million power by not spending any money on this game. Uh, I hope um, you enjoyed this video, I hope you liked the video, and I hope you're gonna use the advices and use my example for yourself. Uh, thanks for watching, I will continue posting more content, of course, uh, as I have been done doing this for a couple of, like, not couple of months, like for 7-8 months. Uh, if you like what you are seeing, uh, press the like button, click on subscribe and wait for the more amazing content uh, you, are, you will see in this channel. Uh, thanks for watching, bye bye and have an amazing day or evening. Bye bye.